Let's talk about an accountant's favorite area, and that's journal entries. Journal entries are the manual way to do things within your QuickBooks accounting system. Within QuickBooks, you should very seldom ever have to do journal entries. Instead, QuickBooks gives you several user-friendly screens for accomplishing the same thing, such as the Write Check screen. Let's demonstrate how to enter a journal entry in QuickBooks. Let's come here under Company and come down to Make Journal Entry. One of the most common journal entries you'll have to make in your QuickBooks software is the depreciation entry. Let's say that your accountant has just faxed over the entry for depreciation. Let's come here to begin. The first line item is depreciation expense and that amount is fifteen hundred dollars. Next is accumulated depreciation. Let's add that account and the type of account is a fixed asset account. And let's click Save and Close. Now let's go look at another way to do a journal entry. Chart of Accounts and let's come down to Accumulated Depreciation. Let's double click on it and here is the journal entry. You can see that we have a negative $1,500 balance. That's a credit balance. We can click here and click on splits. And here we can see the $1,500 balance. That is another way to enter a journal entry. So in other words, if you are debit and credit challenged, you can simply come here, enter $1,500, click on the split button, and enter the other account that it needs to go to, which is depreciation expense. Close and record. Now we have a $3,000 balance in both this account and let's go down to the depreciation expense account, double click, and you can see we also have a $3,000 balance here. That's two ways to record journal entries in your QuickBooks software.